If you are a small business or starting a new job doing social media marketing, and one of your responsibility is to create videos, you want to watch this video to help you easily create a video. In today's tutorial, we are going to be creating a video through Adobe Spark. Any web browser that you use will work. Adobe Spark is an online and mobile design app that helps you create graphics, videos, or web pages in a matter of minutes. One can either use their templates or build from scratch. Let's go to your web browser and type in spark.adobe.com. Adobe Spark is free to use. The significant difference from the paid version and the free one is a watermark placed at the bottom right hand corner in your project. If you upgrade the free version, the Adobe Spark watermark can be removed from all projects forever. For this video, I will be using the free version. I have a subscription to Adobe, but if you never used this application before and is planning to use the free version, well, it didn't make sense if I showed you the paid version right away. I created a new account for this tutorial. You go ahead and either click on the Start Now button or sign in. You can link any of the following, Gmail, Facebook, Apple, Adobe, or create a new account to Adobe Spark. You can also use your school account if you go to school as a student or a teacher. Once you sign into Adobe Spark for the first time, you will see these pictures. Select up to three primary purposes of using Spark. Are you creating videos for business, school, friends, and family? Or are you creating for clients or as a side hustle? There are no right or wrong answers. Whatever you choose, they will try to show you relevant templates. Once you sign in, these options will not show up again. Don't worry, you still have access to all of the templates. The cool thing about Adobe Spark is they made the instructions reasonably easy. Scroll down the page and see the different social media platforms for Instagram, Facebook, presentation, slideshow, and graphics. If you click on View All, you can see the different styles of graphics, web pages, and videos. You can view the most popular, growing your business to promoting your brand choices. Let's click on the Back button. If you scroll that down, you can see the templates you can use. Click on Explore Templates and view the different styles of mediums such as Instagram, a promo, an ad, or the premium. Let's click on the Back button again. On the left side, if you have any current projects, it will be listed as well at the bottom of your home page. Currently, we have nothing. There is a section called Brands where you can upload your logo if you have one. But for this to work, you need the paid version to use as option. In the next few minutes, I will discuss the interface of Adobe Spark. Let's create a new project. Go ahead and click on the plus sign to create a new project. It will ask you to select what you want to create. Today, we will create a video and we will review the other options in future videos. Enter a title for your project. You can change this later, so I'm going to call this my YouTube channel. Adobe Spark will ask if you want to build from a template or build from scratch. I'm going to grab a template. If you make from scratch, the pages are blank. However, this may be the first time for you to use this application. It might be useful to use a template for the time being. It doesn't matter what your storyline you choose, and you can always change its contents. I'm going to use a Teach a Lesson template. Next, a pop-up video will open for you to watch a quick tour of tips. Go ahead and watch if you want. One of the cool things about Adobe Spark is that you can add some video, text, photos, and icons and have a voiceover narration to your video or animation. I have collected the contents that I'm going to be using for this video to speed things up. You can use any photos and videos found on Adobe Stock Creative or using other royalty-free videos and pictures online. Tips to standing out from the rest of the pack. Find a high quality of any photos and videos specific to your industry. 
Use Unsplash. Pixels. Or Pixel Bait. Or you can also create your collages off art. Before we start putting on our video together, let's look at the Adobe Spark interface. In the middle of the page is your scene. Think of this as your work canvas or artboard. On top of your scene is four menu items, preview, share, download, and invite. Preview is viewing your video or creation. With share, you can publish your work and share a project link to see your work. It's a nice feature that allows you to show others your work before downloading the final version. Invite others will enable you to collaborate with others on the project. Download will allow you to download the creation as a video that you can upload to any social media platform, such as YouTube or Instagram. And again, not sure why, but Adobe Spark has the icon displayed again to invite others to make edits to the projects. On the right hand side is layout, theme, resize, and music. The layout seems to have thumbnails of a full screen, split screen, photos, with captions, and enter a title and text as shown here on my screen. There are many different themes with animation, topography, and color. Let's scroll through a variety of themes available to be used. We won't go through all of them. Themes provide a quick and easy way to define the look of your Spark videos and pages through a powerful combination of animation, color, style, and fonts. Each theme provides a unique applied animation effects that bring your content to life. I'll pick maybe the noir theme. If you notice up at the very bottom of each theme, I can change the color of my topography or fonts and change it from blue to gray to give it some contrast in the scene. Let's go back to the layout now. Resizing allows you to change the video to a widescreen or square instantly. This is probably the most fun part of Adobe Spark. It's easier than ever to have social media ready videos switch from a YouTube to an Instagram video. People would think that you had to create two new videos for a widescreen or a square. Little did they know you did it with one video. The music tab gives you access to the different sounds of music to use in your video. If there isn't any music that you want to use, you can upload your own. At the very bottom of your screen, you will have a timeline with different pages. Depending on the template you pick at the beginning and the theme you had chosen, you may have different words or colors to your project. You can always change the theme on the fly, not the template. If you need to start a new project, select a different template. You need to go back to the home page. To be honest with you, I usually don't use the template, but I only use it as a guide. In the middle of your scene, there is a red microphone icon. Yes, you can do a voiceover and talk over the videos. I think that is pretty cool. You should be able to see the Adobe Spark watermark in the bottom right hand corner here. On the opposite side of the play button to your animated video and a text bubble, which activates a hint to use the microphone. Under the watermark is a timer. You can control how long the frame should be for a place image, text, or icons. Click on the timer to change how long each frame is. Whenever you see the plus sign here, it means you can add something to this timeline, page, or scene. I will click on the plus sign now here. Here I can add a video, text, photo, or an icon. Click on the first frame. Let's create our first frame. Click on any of the four menu items and locate that item from your computer. To speed things up, I have placed all my working files into a folder on my desktop so I can quickly access my files fast, but as well, station of your files. We will add an image to our first frame. Click on Upload Photo on the right hand side. Locate the image and select it. If I want to make any changes to the image, click on the pencil icon found in the top right hand corner. Here, you can make the image smaller or bigger. To get out of the editing, click anywhere outside of the artboard. You are only allowed to have one piece of each. Therefore, you can't have two photos on one page, or two icons. For example, if I want to add my logo to the frame, I will click on the plus sign. If you notice, I can't enter another photo or video. In this case, I will need to combine my logo with my picture in a different software and place it back into Spark. Let's introduce some text in the project. I'm entering the longitude and latitude. To make the text smaller or big, click on the T minus for smaller text or T plus for bigger text. Or if you want to delete the text, click on the trash icon. To move the text somewhere else on the page, make sure you click on the item and hover over the text and you should see the hand icon. Once you do, 
click on the text once and drag it anywhere you want the text to go, and let go when, you, when ready. If I don't see the hand icon, I will click on my project until I can see the hand icon. This hand icon allows me to drag the text anywhere on my video. Did you notice I went from center justify to left alignment? If I move to the right hand side, it becomes right justified. Yes, you could attempt to cover up the watermark with the text, but then it's difficult to read the text. Okay, I'm going to put it back to the left hand side. You could use title and text to have two text boxes, but the second text box will be a serif type. I do know it's a good contrast between two fonts, but I don't like it for, for my video. So instead, you can either use any software to make a collage. I'll use Illustrator and place my logo on the image to speed things up here. Let's upload this new image now into the project. Let's get started on the second frame. This time we will click on the plus sign again and place a video inside our project. A video will appear with a timeline. You can drag how long you want your video to play and start. And you can drag once until you are happy with the amount of time. Click on save top right hand corner. Give it a few seconds as Adobe Spark is saving your video clip to your project. Again, if you want to edit this, click on the pencil icon found in the top right hand corner. Here, there are a few more editing tools. The magnify tool allows you to increase or decrease the viewing of your video. I try to get high quality videos because first impressions do count when using a better quality video or image versus a low quality one. The scissor icon is trimming your video. The arrow to the right ear icon is to be continue clip. You're only allowed to play 30 seconds per video. So if you have a long video to play and you want the video for the whole minute, click on continue and it will continue from the last video clip. The side icon allows you to control the volume of the music in your video from loud, soft, mute, and if you double click on the black speaker here, you can also use a slider. I haven't decided if I want to have text or not, but for this video, I will add some text for more practice, I guess. I'm going to click on the plus sign again and click on the text icon. I can either type it in or copy and paste the text. I'm going to make the text a bit smaller. And let's move the text at the bottom left hand corner. If I don't see the hand icon, I will click on my project until I can see the hand icon. This hand icon allows me to drag the text anywhere on my video. Did you notice I went from center justified to left alignment? If I move to the right hand side, it becomes right justified. Yes, you could attempt to cover up the watermark with the text, but then it's difficult to read the text. Okay, I'm going to put it back to the left hand side. Let's say you want a voiceover in your video. Press and hold on the red microphone icon to start the recording. The equalizers will begin to bounce around. Equalizers are used to show you the rate of each tone or type of sound played. And when it starts to move around, it's a recording. So go ahead and speak. With different learning abilities, not every learner will learn the same way. While speaking, there should be a timer letting you know how long you've been talking. Let's play the voiceover now. With different learning abilities, not every learner will learn the same way. Oops, my background music is a bit too loud, so I can click on the music in the top right hand corner to access the sound controls. I can either turn the music off or lower the background music. If you didn't like the voiceover, you can delete your own voiceover for whatever reason. Click on the timer on the bottom right hand corner and click on remove narration and go ahead, re-record a new voiceover, or don't bother with one. If you want to delete a frame from the timeline, select a frame and click on the three dots. You can either select delete or duplicate frame, or play from here. Let's choose delete. A warning will pop open, confirming you want to delete it. You can't use an undo here, so make sure this is what you want. Granted, you can easily recreate the frame too. If I want to duplicate a frame, click on the three dot signs again and click on the duplicate link. If you're going to create a blank frame, click on the plus sign at the beginning of the timeline 
And again, if you want to move the frames around, just place your cursor or mouse over the frame until you get the hand icon and safely transfer the frame to the order you want it. Let's move to the credit page. Adobe Spark reminds you to add your credits to the video. This page isn't mandatory, but it's nice to give credit if you're using other people's work. If you're using our friends' photographs or videos and who are starting their careers, this is a great way to give them a shout out. Who knows, it could work both ways in getting more referrals too. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna create my YouTube channel video and switch to the subscription count that I have as I don't want the watermark in the video. The video can be sped up or fast forward to this time. Or for those who wanna see how I created my YouTube and Instagram channel video, I will create the video without any voiceover. Once I'm done with my video, I will show you the next few steps. We can share it or download the videos. I would create two videos from this project, one for my Instagram profile, the square footage, and one as a widescreen video, which I can upload to a YouTube channel if I desire. After watching this video and playing around on the free version, decide if you want the watermark removed and upgrade.
Thanks everyone for watching. If you have any issues, please let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time.